Hello everyone and welcome back to another Drone Shadash episode. In today's video we're going to be playing some more featured levels, starting off with Imbue by Xstar7. What an amazing name. Alright, let's get into this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wow, we really wanted to use the 2.2 effects, huh? Very hard to see the gameplay, but sure. <coughs> Oh my god, yeah, epilepsy. Jesus Christ, epilepsy. Okay, I don't have epilepsy, but that's really bright for me. I don't want to get permanent eye damage, I'll say that. What the hell is this gameplay? This gameplay's ass, I'll say that. Um, the decoration is pretty mid. I don't know how this got this third. It's, it's a pretty ugly level so far, I'll say that. It doesn't look that nice. It's pretty basic, the decoration. It just abuses so much of the 2.2 features, I'll tell you that. Epilepsy warning, just in case. Very hard to see the gameplay also. I mean, this is Jarm Shadash, I guess. Oh my god. Okay, this affects like the transit. Whoa, wh okay, that's cool. I'll say that's cool, the transitions. Okay, the transitions are actually really cool, but... Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> this is so hard to sight read! Oh, that was cool though. I can't read anything that's going on. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, well I had no idea what was going on there. Again, as I said, the gameplay sucked ass, but... The decoration, it's there, I guess. We're not playing platformers. I'll say with that level, it's way too heavy on the decoration, it's way too heavy on the special, the visual effects, I guess. It's okay, I'd give it a 6 out of 10, maybe, I don't know. You see, I, I prefer levels like this, it's a bit more lo-fi, a bit more chill, except this level's as generic as it gets, I'll say that. And it, this level was probably made in 2.1, because there's zero new features. What is that meant to be? Okay. I hope. Oh my god. Soon copped up. I got a coin. What did I do? I don't know. Okay. Even though this is a glowy level and glowy levels are normally generic as hell, it actually doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty nice. Like, a bit of decoration here and there, but not as heavy as the previous level. Not as in your face as the previous level, if that's the right metaphor to use. I'll turn off the music, sorry. Normally I don't like putting the music that high, I swear. If that's another coin if you touch that. I didn't touch it though. I didn't tap on it. But uh, I normally don't really turn up the music a lot in Jomish Dash, cause it gets copyrighted, and yeah. But, oh well, I don't care. Cool enough, that's that I guess. Next level, no, that's a platformer. Next level is C by ASDSDVB, and it does not have an epic or anything rating, which is honestly very rare to see nowadays. Because I swear, every level has some sort of a rating. I don't know what they're called. Epic, mystic, legendary, godlike, whatever you call them. But I swear, every level has at least an epic. Like, it's not even rare to get one anymore, because there's so many of them now. Like, getting a feature level honestly isn't even that... Uh, special anymore. Is it even that? It's like the lowest tier of feature level you get. Okay. I mean, I get why this level isn't too highly rated. Oh, keep kidding me. The gameplay is very interesting. Not good, it's just interesting. The decoration. <coughs> the decoration honestly isn't too bad. The gear is a little bit more empty than the previous levels we've played. But, honestly, you do need a break, and this level is a good little break. It's very, it, I can tell, the decoration, it's not as, oh, are you kidding me? It's not as there as the previous levels, but it does a good job at being what it is. I like the contrast between the dark landscape, dark background, with the um, multicolored blocks, I reckon that's pretty nice. And I do like the lasers in the background at the drop, that thing. That looks quite nice. It's just this gameplay is actually really annoying, because like, slopes and a robot is like the two worst things, I'll say that. 
Next level is Wild Temple by Block without a C, Master of 4 4, and has an epic rating. Oh my god, okay, wow, this level exists. The block design's ass, but hey, the background is not that bad. I just wish. Okay. So we're going into the visual. Oh my god, what's the game? Okay, work on the gameplay next time. Get someone else to do the gameplay, because clearly this is not that good. Wait, I just want to try something out. I'm just going to skip the two blue orbs. Oh, so I can just jump over that gap. Yeah, great gameplay you got. Wow. <laughs> I didn't hit that black orb. Please work on your gameplay next time. But, hey, this is a thing you get taught in visual arts. The background, the middle ground, the foreground. Because that's the background, that's the middle ground, and that's the foreground. I think, I don't know, I'm not an arts person. The background, not bad. It's okay. It's there. The block design is whack. I just wish this gameplay was better, because it's actually really ass. Uh, what's going on? Okay. I don't know what's going on. This gameplay is very hard to sight read. But... It doesn't look that bad. Okay, really, please, improve your gameplay. Like, mate, okay, that time was my fault, but considering you can just do that, and... Are you kidding me? I'm just annoyed, because this level would have been significantly better if the gameplay actually worked. Something that a lot of people take for granted is gameplay. Even though, like, it's all about the visuals, the gameplay is, like, more than half of the level itself, because you're playing the gameplay. Yeah, visuals can look good, but no one cares about the visuals if you have bad gameplay like this level. Like I saw, you can skip half of the orbs here. The visuals don't even matter if the gameplay sucks. You, I tapped! Okay, we're almost about to hit 100k orbs, huh? <laughs> oh, I'll give this one more attempt. Oh my god, I keep tapping down the AVW though, it's just the spikes. Since they don't appear for that bit, I just keep thinking, yeah. Like, yeah, I know the gameplay is like synced to the music, but it's not good. You've seen those videos where, um, synced gameplay is not always the best option. Okay. Are you sure it's waste them? Great, yeah, great gameplay. Not good gameplay at all, so that's very difficult to sight read and painful to play, but the visuals weren't that bad. <coughs> <coughs> visuals weren't that bad. Next we get is King Samalot Huzaya by Hack695. Whoops. Yeah, for some reason, Mega Hack ain't working on my computer anymore. Wow, oh, great. Mega Hack ain't working on my computer anymore, even though I've tried reinstalling it onto Joshua Dash like several times now. I don't know what happened. Maybe Joshua Dash did something. It's probably just on my end, though, so whatever. Okay, yeah, whatever. That boring ass level. Oh, I clicked off the screen. Boring ass level, don't feel like giving it another chance. Next level is I'm with the Dummy by Minecraft, popular popular Minecraft YouTuber that plays Hermitcraft every other day, Grian. Okay, we're done. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, with these normal levels, please don't use sound effects. It's, even though, yeah, it's sound effects, it just sounds clunky. Don't use sound effects. Only use them for platformers. Also, we're going with the this kind of style. It just sounds so bad. Don't use sound effects, please. It's not your fault, but it just doesn't sound that good, especially at a normal level. Okay, I'll say this. You, I know there's like the dash style with like this pixel game-like looking visuals. I don't like it. It looks so cluttered. So much is on the screen and it just, it doesn't look nice. Help me! 
fucking kidding me. That help me sounds like mobile... Sounds like that king dude from that stupid royal crush game. Them ads that go, help me, and you watch a person do really terribly on the ad. Okay. Help me! <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, by the way. Very confusing. I don't know what's going on. What the fuck? Yeah, great. Can't see anything. I uh, get why that's not epic or anything. Not a great level, in my opinion. Don't like it very much. The visuals, I don't like it. The gameplay is ass. Next level we get is 21 pilots by some creator I don't know. I don't read it. Cebu GD. Okay, I love it that I can't see anything. It's really difficult to see the gameplay. Something I do appreciate is the visuals being better, but I can't see a god for sake. I, I can't see for the life of god the gameplay at all. It's so hard to sight read. Okay, this part's fine. This part's okay. It's just the cute part. It's so hard to read it. Okay, oh my god, please don't do that. The visual effects. Don't do that. Don't do that! You make the gameplay so much harder to f read. I know I shouldn't be complaining about sight reading because, you know, practice mode's a thing. But if I'm not playing a demon, I don't want to practice mode it. I just want to beat it in one try. Like, it's not about if you're good or not. It's about it being sight readable. This level is... it's okay. I mean, it's pretty average, honestly. The visuals aren't bad. Like, as I said so many times before in my previous videos, on 2.2, I'll say that the visuals and the overall... The overall visuals are significantly better than what they were in 2.1. I don't know if it's because more effort's been put in or you can do more stuff with 2.2, but I'll definitely say that the visual quality is a lot better than 2.1. That aside, the gameplay is not. It's very hard to sight read a lot of the time. Like, I already died 3% in, right. It's very hard to sight read. Because often people forget about the gameplay. Like that, great. Wish you put an arrow there to indicate that I needed to jump. Yeah, maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's my fault for not jumping there. But... Gameplay, gameplay honestly should not be missed. Like, that seems like a gap that you'd actually make since the block is higher than and you're in the opposite gravity you, it looks like you're able to do that but you can't that's the thing and it's a lot harder to sight read especially with the camera moving in and the gravity being changed up and everything's moving around and it's more zoomed in like it's very it's a lot harder to just predict where you're meant to go which is, I guess, the biggest flaw on 2.2 and the reason why I don't really play GD that much anymore it's just it's not the same as it used to be, which I guess it's a good thing, but I don't like it. I don't like Chase. Like, the, the, the course for Extreme Demons are a lot more interesting, because... Okay, I re I'm really glad that that was spikes and not just a solid ground I could slide on, because, like, it was really... You could tell very clearly that those are spikes. Because I thought the purple thing was a block, but it's not, it's just a visual. Yeah, great, thanks. Next is the Great Ghastly by the Roy Kit. With 39 sound effects, great, love this. What does that mean? I don't want sound effects mode. I said earlier I don't like sound effects, and I refuse to like them. I'm assuming all this is from the music. Okay, wow, this level took a turn for the interesting. It's pretty ugly, but whatever. We'll test out the gameplay, we'll see how we go. I'm really bad at the swing copter, by the way, it's so hard to control, but whatever. I wouldn't say this level looks good, it looks like an Izhar level, if you remember that dude. This looks like the type of level he made. The background doesn't match at all with the game, with the block design, it just feels very randomly put in there last minute. <coughs> What the hell is going on? This part looks like Geometrical Dominator, don't change my mind. Like again, here the background looks nothing like the block design. It just looks like it's randomly put in last minute. Here as well! <coughs> Fuck, I'm sick again. 
Here as well, why the bricks multicolored but everything else the same color? Very randomly put in. It doesn't sync well, it doesn't it doesn't feel coherent. It just feels like multiple things being put together that all don't look aligned. Okay, this part looks a little bit nicer, but there's an overall sense that nothing here is coherent, nothing here is smooth, everything feels a bit jagged. And I'm really glad that that part is slow, I really could tell. It's an okay level, that's a 4 out of 4. 4 out of 10. See what this level gets. gets. Great, love, lovely, love this game. Hey, it's got interesting vibes though. That's the thing. We'll just levels like this, they're cool. But uh, we'll see what more it has to offer. But it has an interesting vibe. Like honestly, Java Dash isn't about creating beautiful levels. It's about creating levels that have certain personality characteristics about it, like this. This is definitely not your typical level that you see, and that's what makes it interesting. It's not about it looking... Okay, maybe... Okay, it... Oh, I clicked off the screen. It looking beautiful is good. Like, this level, this level actually looks really cool. But it's all about interesting as well. It's all about how... How different is your level compared to every other feature level out there? Because, you know, that's how some of the best creators on this game are. They create interesting things. Things that have replayability value. Instead of, okay, here's the feature level I played once and ever again. Which is the case with pretty much every feature level I've played so far. Only, like, out of the hundreds of feature levels I've played on these throughout this series, only about 5 or 10 have replayability value. They Those levels, I would actually play them again for fun. A lot of other levels, probably this one including, I just don't care about them enough to play them again. Play it once and you get sick of it. Also, this level's like really long. Again, I just don't feel like the background. I really, I love the f that the middle ground is the same as the block design, so I could definitely tell that that wasn't an actual block. But whatever, who cares? It's a, this one's a lot better than normal. Maybe a six point five out of ten. Again, it looks like the previous level. The background doesn't match the block design. They're not coherent. They're not smooth. The block design is a rocky feel, a more textured, the background's a simplified feel. I don't know, just doesn't feel coherent. You're out of 40. Okay, well, okay, let's try that out then. I wish I was on mobile so I could click with all eight fingers, but whatever. Okay, we got that done. Thanks for that. Okay, wow. Very weird vibe. Oh, whoa, okay, thanks for that. Thanks for that, also. Very weird vibe. The blo I don't like the block design, it just look- it's the dash vibe, it's the pixel- pix- pix- I'm gonna call it pixel blocks. I guess they are. But, they don't match. Like, look at the background. This background would look actual nice if it had a more glowy feel, because this level is glowy. Just look at it. But it just feels weird. The song also does not match this level. It just feels like the song. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> it's it's there, but it's not there as well. So I'm not playing an XL. Screw you. Good kid, Tyler Vital, huh? Good kid, Mad City, but Tyler. I don't know what the hell this is meant to be. Yeah, just that, that level there did not have. Just did it. Don't you how I get quiet when no okay, see, like this level, it matches the vibe. The block design, which is a smooth texture that looks modernistic, matches the modernistic background. See, this matches. Everything looks coherent, everything looks smooth. This is a good example. I just wish the gameplay was a little better, but hey. 
I, I blame everything but myself. Are you kidding me? I tapped. Stupid fucking wireless mouse. I hate- I hate this mouse. I forgot my face cam's here now. I hate this mouse, but hey, I could show you I could show you- I could show me play the game from here. <laughs> anyway, this is cool. I can go crazy about 50 star, I'll play like this. I just hope I don't click off the screen. Something I don't like about Geometry Dash is it doesn't lock your mouse. I don't know if it's a feature. Are you kidding me? Oh, I changed my DPI on my mouse as well. Oh my god. I changed the DPI on my mouse. Uh... Okay, that's fine now. Give it one more chance. I don't know if it's a f option now, but it wasn't back then. Uh, you can't lock the mouse, so if you have multiple monitors like I do, your mouse just constantly moves. And if it click it off the- if you click it on the other screen you have, um, it will tab out of the whole game. It pauses the game automatically, which is good, but it's annoying. Um, I know it's a- oh, I thought that was a swing copter, damn it, whatever. I know it's a mega hack thing, but I don't- mega hack doesn't work, so yay, that's good for good. Last level we'll be playing is Royalty. We got an NCS song. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna stop playing like that. Are you kidding me? That coin looks so bizarre. That's it. Okay, this is like a 2.1 level that's transformed into a 2.2 level. This is this is the kind of levels I'd see in 2.1. Very bland, very boring lyric songs that have no variety, that never change. It's just, it's just the same boring slowness. Okay, this is- okay, this part looks new, yes. That previous part looks way too thing. Also, please stop using the swim copter. It doesn't match. A ship would feel so much better to play at that part. Like, only use swim copter? Are you kidding me? That's enough of that. You only use a swing copter when it feels like a swing copter. Don't just make ship gameplay and make it look like a swing copter. <laughs> like this level right here, Stratalus, Staratalus. This had replayability factor, except I only copied the level so I could get a thumbnail for the video. Alright, I want to make a thumbnail, so I'm going to just blur. Okay, that's enough of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.